have donated my brain so that uh, when the time comes, they can make a study of it. The fact that I have not had uh, any of this uh, Alzheimer's uh, disease or even an inclination so far uh, is something that, you know, they would naturally want to study or find reasons for being uh, able to live without uh, being, a, shall we say, attacked by Alzheimer's. And the thing I'm most excited about studying with the nun study is we received over 500 brains, so I can look at these brains under the microscope and I can look at the degree of pathology and correlate that with whether or not the person was demented during life. And the most interesting people to study are the ones who have a lot of pathology in their brain, but they don't, they aren't demented for some reason. So we want to see what is it about those sisters that allows them to be healthy from a functional point of view, even though they have pathology in their brain. One of the non-study brains. Um, and then the, the first thing we do is we dissect out the um, blood vessels at the base of the brain. This is the circle of Willis. So we, we follow all these blood vessels. And then after that, I'll remove the brain stem. So the brain stem and cerebellum, I'll cut right off. And then I'll slice the brain. This actually may have been a dementia case. These ventricles do seem somewhat large. And that's something you see with Alzheimer's disease. And it's a reflection of it. The fact that the ventricles are large doesn't mean you just have too much fluid in the brain. It means that you've actually lost brain tissue. So with shrinking of the neurons and the connections, you have enlargement of the ventricles. Well, I think our sisters have always been very proud of being a part of this. Um, the question, when it was initially raised for them, you know, 22 years ago, would you be willing to participate in this? Um, with the understanding that it also means the, the donation of your brain. That, you know, I think after the first shock of, oh my goodness, <laughs> you know, that's, that's quite, a, quite a request. But the more they thought about it, and as one of our, of our wisdom women stood up and said, you know, we're not going to need our brains <laughs> after we're dead. Of course we want to contribute. Fundamentally, we wanted the study used. Um, that we think this is a wonderful gift that our sisters have offered. And the research that has already been done, I think, has, has really been some, some historic research. But we want it to continue, you know, that, the kind of education that lives on beyond us. I gave it to God as uh, something that is a, a sort of desired by, let's say, it's the science. And so, uh, as a result, uh, I felt that uh, uh, I was making a contribution uh, to science by giving my life and by giving my uh, body and, well, whatever else, to science. In fact, I'd like to donate my body to science completely so that in whichever way they want to use it, they would be able to. You know, just the idea of giving your, giving your life to God, that's my purpose. That's what I'm living for.